Panorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. Hey, check this out. Canon 580 EX2 Pocket Wizard, right there. Nikon D3X. How's that possible? You're about to find out. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and you're watching Adorama TV from the rooftop deck of where I have my studio here in Chicago. We've got the sunset that's taken place about 15 minutes ago, and I've got my daughter Sophie, which you may or may not be familiar with from prior videos, and she's here willing to help me. And what I've got in this beautiful wall, uh, that's a metal wall with these wonderful lines, it creates this wonderful composition behind her, converging parallel lines. Well, the only thing that's missing in this shot is the use of the stroke. So, without benefit of the stroke, Rosie, go ahead. Take a look at that photograph. Clearly, the lines look great, but the subject, that being Sophie, in the foreground, she's a silhouette. Because I'm setting my exposure for the much brighter ambient light behind her. Therein brings the strobe to take care of this little problem. Now, why a 580EX2? Because a lot of people say to me, Brian, I saw what you do with the Nikon SB900, but I got Canon. Okay, so what? I'm doing it with a Canon. I will show you, when we're done here, upstairs, back downstairs in my studio, how to make the 580EX2 operate just like a Nikon SB900 in full manual exposure. Give you a little hint, it's custom function 5.3. But again, I'll show that to you momentarily. So let's take a look, Sophie. Let's take a look here and see how this looks with the strobe. Take a look at that photograph side by side. Clearly, the one where Sophie's lit is the better photograph. Now again, how is that done? Let's go down to the studio and find out right now. Okay, note on the back of the flash, C.FN, that means custom function. We're going to press this button right here and hold it until we see a custom function come up. There it comes up. We see FN001. The first one we're going to change is to 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we press this button and that activates over here. And we're going to turn that until we get to 3. Press the button like so. Then we're going to turn the flash off. Then we turn it back on, and we go over here to mode. Right now it's in M, but we don't want this M. We want the other M, which is going to be with the E. Now it's manual flash exposure completely, and you'll notice here a distance scale, just like on the SB900. Okay? The, notice here, too, this is in meters. I want to point something out to you about this. Watch what happens next. If I then go to custom function 1, Turn it off. Now notice what happens. Custom function, excuse me, I'm in manual, and now all of a sudden I'm in feet. So, 001 will get you feet, for those of you that want feet, and also 53 gets you this full manual exposure mode. When you press this button, you can change your ISO. We're going to leave it at 100. When you press the next button, uh, excuse me, the next thing that, that highlights is the aperture, in this case 8. So you want to change this until it matches the aperture you've chosen on your lens. Okay, because for all intents and purposes, you're going to be using this flash off camera with the pocket wizard. So, with that in mind, you will dictate which aperture you're going to use on your lens and then subsequently match that up here. And look what happens. As you match that up, your distance scale becomes activated. And as far as its distance is concerned, a short distance will show up when you're at the small apertures for obvious reasons and as you open the lens up as far as telling the flash you're using a larger lens opening your distance increases just like on the SB900 so once you determine what your aperture is press the button and then it locks it in place and of course the zooming feature is something that you press here and turn this dial until you have the zoom ratio that you want. And obviously, as you'll notice, as you zoom, your flash distance also increases just like on the SB900. So, with that in mind, now you've got this all set up as far as the custom function is concerned, and you can operate it just like the SB900. So when you read my book, Understanding Electronic Flash, you can now appreciate what it is I'm talking about and how to do those manual settings with the Canon 580EX2. So now let's revisit what took place up on the roof here at the studio. My daughter Sophie, without benefit of flash, let's look at that photograph one more time. F22, quarter of a second. Now with benefit of flash, as you just witnessed here, I dialed up F22, 
got a subsequent flash to subject distance indicated of approximately five feet. So, holding the flash roughly five feet away from Sophie, I trip the camera shutter at f22, also quarter second, because that's the ambient exposure behind her, and as the second photograph indicates, I correct flash exposure for f22, I correct ambient exposure of f22 at a quarter for that background sunset light. Something you need to know. Until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.